The Republican Party has become so authoritarian that they're no longer only trying to disenfranchise voters, they're actually trying to invalidate votes that have already legitimately been cast. And it's gone so bad that even Republicans are speaking out against their own party. One Republican exposed Lindsey Graham for trying to invalidate ballots in Georgia. And what Lindsey Graham was trying to do was literally get votes canceled that had already been cast in an attempt, obviously, to steal the election for Donald Trump. And of course, there should be a thorough investigation into his actions and prosecution should be on the table if necessary. And there has to be at least some level of accountability. Now, thankfully, that's what some individuals are calling for. For example, co-chair of the Congressional Progressive Caucus, Pramila Jayapal, called on him to resign, saying Lindsey Graham must resign. It has now been corroborated that he urged the Secretary of State in Georgia to find a way to throw out legally cast ballots. There must be accountability and justice for this dangerous attack on our democracy. And she's right. Authoritarians should not serve in a government that's supposed to represent the people. I know that the idea of Congress representing Americans and not large multinational corporations is almost comical now. But still, if you are authoritarian and you are anti-democracy, you shouldn't be in Congress. If you're trying to get votes invalidated, that's, that's worse than voter suppression and voter disenfranchisement. This is authoritarian by definition. So he needs to resign. And the fact that there isn't more noise being made about this by Democrats, you know, more calls for him to resign, that to me is alarming. Because when you have someone be openly authoritarian and there's no opposition that's calling that individual out, that's an issue. So I credit this Republican for coming forward and we'll talk about this. But the problem is that Democrats, they uh, don't plan on holding Lindsey Graham accountable. In fact, Kamala Harris, when she uh, interacted with Lindsey Graham for the first time after the election, after learning that he tried to steal this election from her by canceling votes, uh, this is how she greeted him. Unfucking believable I mean, at this point, Republicans could literally come out and self-identify as fascists and we'd still hear Democrats preach about bipartisanship. There's no line that Republicans could cross to where Democrats would say, OK, we just have to defeat this party. This is asymmetric warfare. And, you know, I'm not one to kink shame anyone, but Democrats have to have a humiliation fetish at this point. I mean, what was that? This man was busted trying to invalidate ballots. This would cost you the White House, Kamala, if he was successful in enough states. And he wasn't successful, but even the fact that he tried shows that he's an authoritarian and he's your political enemy. But what do you do? You fist bump him like a fucking imbecile. Now, I want to dive a little bit deeper into uh, Lindsey Graham and what he did, because this should honestly enrage anyone who cares about democracy, which should theoretically be everyone in this country, regardless of their political affili affiliation. But that's not the reality that we are living in. So Teen Vogue's Lucy Diavolo reports, Representative Pramila Jayapal called on Senator Lindsey Graham to resign after Graham has reportedly been trying to pull shenanigans with election results, potentially bolstering President Trump's unsubstantiated claims of election fraud and rigging. Graham, once a Trump critic who has turned into a presidential lapdog, has reportedly been asking GOP officials election-related questions about mail-in ballots. One official came forward to say he felt Graham was trying to ask advocate for throwing out legal votes. The Washington Post was the first to report Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, a Republican, said he's been dealing with fellow GOP members attacking his work as he oversees the Georgia vote tallying. He told the Post he was shocked when Graham called him with a question about signature matching, which Raffensperger interpreted as a ploy to get legally cast mail-in ballots thrown out in some counties. And I'm guessing those counties are uh, mostly Democrat. During our discussion, he asked if the absentee ballots could be matched back to the envelope. Raffensperger told CBS this morning, I explained our process after it went through two sets of signature match. At that point, they were separated. But then Senator Graham implied for us to audit the envelopes and then throw out the ballots for counties who have the highest frequency error of signatures. I tried to help explain that because we did signature match, you couldn't tie the signatures back 
any more to those ballots. On Monday, Graham called Raffensperger's claim that the South Carolina senator had asked him to toss out legally cast ballots ridiculous, the Post reported. The main issue for me is how do you protect the integrity of mail-in voting and how does signature verification work, Graham said Monday. If he feels threatened by that conversation, he's got a problem. According to the New York Times, Graham's office has also reached out to people handling votes in Nevada and Arizona, two other key states that decided the 2020 presidential election in Biden's favor. According to Politico, Graham said he was calling people in those states to ask about the verification process for mail-in voting. Last week, Graham said on Fox News that he believes that mail-in voting, which appears to have played a significant role in 2020's historically high voter turnout, would threaten Republicans' chances to ever win the presidency again. And look, Lindsey Graham isn't too far off with that assumption because whenever turnout is high, Democrats win and Republicans lose. But rather than trying to, you know, win over new voters, what Republicans do is try to disenfranchise voters and suppress the vote as much as possible. And now apparently invalidate votes. I need you to understand how serious the ask was from Lindsey Graham. So basically, if there was a particular county, I'm assuming heavily leaning Democrat counties uh, that had a higher rate of mismatched signatures, we don't just toss out those signatures that may be invalid. We toss out all of the ballots in that county. That's what he's asking. He is asking to disenfranchise thousands of voters. This is authoritarian. This is comparable to uh, when we see authoritarian regimes just throw ballots in a dumpster and burn them. That's what Lindsey Graham wants. We shouldn't be fist bumping the motherfucker. He should be under investigation. This is unacceptable. Democrats for years cried about Russia interfering in the 2016 election. And this guy is trying to get votes literally canceled. Something far worse than they ever alleged about Russia. And they're fist bumping him. They're okay with it. Unreal. Uh, if Democrats don't try to hold him accountable and hold Republicans accountable who are trying to invalidate thousands of ballots, they're going to do it. They're going to be increasingly authoritarian because they can get away with it. So there's no low that Republicans will stoop to that will, you know, cause Democrats to say, all right, we, we just can't work with you. We have to condemn you and defeat you. They still, um, it's business as usual. And that's, that doesn't bode well for the long-term health of our democracy. When somebody is trying to cancel votes that were legally cast, you don't fist bump them. This is your enemy. You call him out to his face for trying to steal this election. But, I mean, this is Democrats we're talking about, and they have no spines, and they're usually clueless politically. So, I mean, of course, Republicans will uh, continue to do this because they can get away with it. Yeah. Great. Tremendous, 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 tremendous,